Hello, fantastic little specimens of the internet. I'm here to do my... What month is it? Is it June? It's June. When did that happen? But may wrap up June to be read. My wrap up is bigger than my to be read pile, which kind of frightens me, but I'll just... Let's do this. I'll start off with the book that I don't have with me right now. I read The Elite by Kira Cass. Kiara? Kira? Pretty sure it's Kira. But I have a review-ish type rant thing about that already on my channel, so if you'd like to see that, I'll put the link in the description box. And it was okay. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. I also got the movie within this month and I watched that too. The book was really good, but the movie was really sad. It was still pretty good and I enjoyed it, kind of. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Next is something that I started last month for school. And it's Fahrenheit 451 and usually I would be like, ugh, I have to read that for school. It's just gonna, uh. But literally, I love this book. This was fantastic. Oh my gosh, actual literature that we were reading for school was good. What is life? Did I already say I gave this five stars? I think so, but I completely loved this. Next book I read was The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Meckler. And if you've been watching my hauls and reviews and TBRs for a while, you'll know that I've been meaning to read this. And I finally got to it and it was amazing. And there's like dirt and chew marks on the spine because I read this while I was at the barn and the goats had a little nibble nibble. It was all around fantastic. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that e I completed, I need to not do weird accents. The Sea Monsters by, I always forget his name when I'm going to say it, but then I just, huh. Rick Riordan. Yes, this was a shorty short book, but it was still packed with awesome and I just choked on my own saliva. I think natural selection is trying to tell me something. Um, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, but looking back at it, it could have been a 4 star. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't boring or lackluster. I just, I liked the character still. I liked the idea, um, the cliffhanger. <laughs> Side note, the trailer, although it looks good, it's not sticking to the book at all and it's making me angry, but I'll postpone my feelings on that until after I see it. Literally the only reason I want to go see the movie is to see if they do the guinea pig scene. And they're probably not going to do the guinea pig scene, but you know what? <sighs> Next book I read was Speed by N.T. Anderson. And this, I gotta say, was a letdown. Because this even has like the beautiful little metal on it. Like this book was fantastic. Actually, this says finalist, so it's not actually officially a good book. I gave it two stars. Would not recommend this. It wasn't my thing anyway. I just couldn't, uh, disappointment. After that, I read the last two books in the Chemical Garden trilogy. If you can't tell, this one's a library book and this one is not. I got this one from the library. They didn't have this one at the library, so I bought this one. This is due in four days, so I kept it for a whole month just to put it in the video. I think this was a great end to the series. This one was a little worse than this one. I gave this one four stars and this one five stars. I loved the first one. Finally finished the series. It was amazing. The ending was a little bit weird of a ending. Like, I don't know. Um, tell me if you want a review on the series because I don't want to give away any spoilers in this video and it was just disappointing in a way. I don't know. Dun dun. Dun dun. I read Legend, like the million of you suggested, and again with like just like feed, I was suffering from you guys hyped it up a little bit. Not you guys, like I'm not blaming you for any of my life troubles, but I guess generally I thought this would be a ton better than it actually was. I filmed a review on it, but then the footage ended up being kind of bad, so I don't think I'll post it just because of the footage, but uh, the, the words. I, I did like it. It was a good plot and a good story and the characters were nice, but it just wasn't amazing. So this would be the last book I read this month. I finished this two nights ago, I think, 
so it was like squeezed to get it into this video, but it's a poem book and it, yeah, it's pretty good actually. And this is David Levithan, The Realm of Possibility. So I have no idea how to rate this because it's so many different narrators and stories that I just don't think it would be fair for me to like one poem and not like another. Therefore, I'm going to leave this just as unrated, if anything, a three star just to be neutral, but I, again, I don't think I'm going to put an actual rating on this one. Now it's what to read list. This is my favorite part because you guys give me the best feedback on what I post, so really excited. Anyway, this month I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books planned to be read slash finished and Oh, no, it's itchy. Well, I'm going to strive to read more than this, but I don't want to set a goal that's too high for myself. Therefore, I'm going to keep it down to nine. Was it nine? I don't remember. I'm not going to recount. But the first book I'm reading next month is a book I'm reading for book club. And I believe I read this already in like eighth grade. So I kind of remember what happens, but I kind of don't. And as you can tell, I've been taking notes. So just ignore the nerdy part of me. This is Surviving Antarctica by Andrea White. Andrea White came to a book event in my town last year. No, it was this year. And my, the president of our book club had chosen this for us. And which is kind of funny because I already read it. But yeah, it's not that bad so far, at least. Yeah. Continuing on with the Percy Jackson series, I'll be reading The Titan's Curse. Then I'm going to read Cinder, which is, again, something that um, everyone and their mother has suggested that I start so this will finally become read by me hopefully soon. I've literally been wanting to pick this up for the longest time now but I really haven't had the time so now that I have the time I will have to find either another excuse or just do it. Going on with the flow of things that people say are really good, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer is going to sneak into my June reading pile. Um, this has, I've heard the description of this for a long time and it sounded really good. Just generally excited about this, hope it won't let me down, and I just finally can pick this up because it's one of these books, it's like four or five of them have just been on my shelf that I really wanted to start and I will finally get to them because I have time. Next is also one of those books I previously mentioned about needing to read but never having time or effort. So it's kind of a funny story by Nan Vizzini. It's just me or does Vizzini sound like a type of pasta? I don't know. And again, this is a movie, I think, with Emma Roberts. Is that her name? It's not Emma Watson. Yeah, Emma Roberts. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm really excited to read this. The font... font... font is super big. I don't know why that matters, but I thought I should point it out. This is a book that I tried to start like two months ago and desperately failed. This is The Truth About Forever. It's... I've about... I am about... 12 pages in according to my bookmark and again just I'll try and start on this and get through it and if I don't then I'll do it anyway. I think I mentioned this book like 10 times but I just can't fathom the energy to pick it up. It's the second book in the Matched Trilogy by Ali Condi. I'm just dreading this but my friend Amy whom you saw in my previous video the video before last video, the one about the whole, anyway, she is on the third book of this series and said it gets better, so hopefully this will not completely disgust me as I'm expecting it will. I posted a picture on Instagram of books that I have in my possession and wondering which one I should read next, and it was practically unanimous. Unam, un, un unanimous. Adjective. Two or more people who are fully in agreement. Graceling by an author who I'm not familiar with, Kristen Kishore. And I, like, every comment was like, Graceling. So I guess I'll read it this month. And I've, again, seen this description for a while and it seems really interesting. So hopefully I will finish this. I don't even want to talk about this book because I don't want to have to think about it and I don't want to have to touch it. But inevitably, here I am. It's Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Handler. And... I was really excited about this book when I first got it. I've mentioned it so many times, you're probably getting sick of me complaining about it, but I cannot get through this to save my life. It is boring me beyond my grave, and I've about this far into it, like, so I've just started, I've read all of that, not all up here. I wish I was that far done with it, but... Uh. Lastly, something that I will pick up 
if I either don't want to read any of those or I have more time or anything like that. This is My Life Next Door by Puff and Drop the Book, Why Don't You? Huntley Fitzpatrick. And just really quick, this just makes me so happy. Like, I don't even like the color yellow, but this just makes me happy. Is it supposed to do that? I think that was intended. It seems like a good summer read novel, so I hope it is. I mean, I have such high expectations of all these books, except why we broke up. My expectations are... no. So, I showed you things I read, I showed you things I'm going to read, I'll also show you my clean room. Oh, look, I have a carpet. There is a god. And... That's my bird, so yeah, nice outro, right? Okay, bye. <laughs>